Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'll cover the brand new attitude indicator that was just introduced in the latest version of the DJI Fly application. Now, if you're flying the Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, or the Mavic Air 2, and you've recently updated your DJI Fly app to the latest version, which is 1.2.2, you've probably noticed that something disappeared. <laughs> the directional display that used to be on the main screen in the bottom in the middle that showed you the direction the aircraft was heading relative to the pilot is totally gone. And that's a super important display because it helps you navigate in the air and find your way back home. Now, the honest truth is it's not disappeared, it's actually moved inside the map, and you would have known that had you read the release notes for the firmware update, which is something I recommend as a rule of thumb before you ever push that, yeah, update my drone, go to the DJI website and read through the release notes so there's no surprises, and that way you know what changes that firmware is making to your drone, because even though you may do the update, it's important to understand what those changes mean and how they impact your flight. So with this latest version of 1.2.2, they introduced this brand new attitude indicator. They've also introduced a couple other features where you can change some of the function buttons and stuff on your remote, and I'll cover all that in a separate clip. But this one in particular is really important because we get a ton of emails and phone calls and text messages saying, hey, I see the new display. I don't really understand what it means. Help me understand it better. And I've tried to answer that a couple of times with messages and emails, and it just gets complicated. So I thought, let me sit down, put a clip together, and explain what the icons mean and how you can use those to sort of keep your drone safe and be a better pilot. So before we get too deep into it, the way you get at this display is on the lower left-hand side of your main screen, there's the map. You can expand the map a little bit. In the lower right-hand corner of that map, there's an icon. If you tap that icon, it'll bring up this attitude indicator. Now, DJI calls it an attitude indicator. I call it an attitude display because it does show you the attitude of the aircraft, but it shows you so much more information that's extremely valuable. And if you're not familiar with the term attitude, it doesn't mean is the drone happy or sad or is it aggressive. What it means is the attitude of the plane relative to a level horizon. So if the plane is flying along or the drone's flying along like this, your attitude is perfectly level. If you head down because you're accelerating, fo accelerating forward, the horizon will be above you. If you're pulling back like this, going backwards, the horizon's below you. But what you want to do essentially is keep that horizon on both sides of the plane so it's flying level. Of course, if you bank like this, it's going to turn to the side. So the attitude's in there, which is something you didn't see before. But in addition to the attitude, it also shows you the direction of the aircraft. It shows you what it's looking at from a first person view. So there's a couple of icons and I'll explain that in a second. It also shows you where the pilot's standing and where the home point is. And more importantly, which direction the pilot is facing. Because again, the remote controls are somewhat directional and you wanna make sure you're trying to face your drone as much as possible to get as much signal downfield towards your drone. And if you're facing this way and the drone's flying that way, even though it'll work for a while when you're close, the further you get away, the harder it is for that signal to make that turn and get to your drone. So let's go through some of the icons. When you first bring up the display, the most important important icon in there is the triangle in the center, and that's the drone. Now here's one thing to keep in mind. Some of the other displays that are out there have a perspective from the pilot. So in other words, the whole display is centered on the pilot's position and you're seeing the drone move relative to the pilot. This display is from the drone's perspective. So it's like you're inside the drone flying and when you spin the drone, the whole display spins because you're looking at that display from the perspective of the drone. So it is a little confusing that you see the display spin when you're spinning the drone and that's because pretend you're in the drone trying to find your home point. You wanna make sure that the drone is facing back to the home point. So the triangle in the center is the actual drone. The H, the yellow H that's got a circle around it, should look like a landing mat, which is something you should be using if you're flying a drone. But anyway, that's your home point. So when the drone first takes off, if it has a solid GPS connection, it's going to actually set its home point so it knows where it needs to get back to. If something horrible happens out in the field, you lose connection, the battery's getting weak, it's going to fly back to that home point and land. And that home point is set if GPS is strong and you give it a couple of seconds to set its home point, you'll know it did that because it'll announce that through the application. It'll say home point set and you know that it's ready to go. So that's the home point. The blue dot is you as the pilot. Not really you as the pilot, but the controller. So normally you got that in your hands. But if you walk away from the home point, you're going to see the home point, which is initially over the blue dot, the pilot, separate. And you'll actually see that blue dot move. Now I've got a couple of screenshots showing that, but now I'm standing off to the side of the home point. And that's important because you want to know where the pilot is relative to the home point. And if you look closely at that pilot dot, the blue dot, it's showing you which direction the pilot is facing. And again, that's super important because if, you're, if your drone's over here and you're facing this direction, it'll work for a little while, but that signal is going to uh, decay over time to the point where you're going to have a break in that RF connection to the drone. So you want to kind of make sure you're always facing the direction of your drone, and you can see that from that attitude display. All of that's really important stuff. So those three icons, the pilot, 
the drone and the home point are what those three icons show you. Now where it gets a little bit better and a little more complicated is to either side of the drone, you see two white lines. That's the artificial horizon. So when we're talking about attitude, that's really what an attitude indicator shows you is how are the, how are the wings of the plane aligned with that horizon? Am I flying straight and level or am I banking? Or am I heading down? Am I you know, heading up? So that shows you exactly how your horizon looks. And the reason that's important is because even though it's cool to see those kind of change when you're banking or change when you go forward and back, if you watch those closely, they'll give you a real good indication of how your drone is doing at 200 feet in the air. Because remember, you've got an FPV camera on the front that's got a three axis stabilized gimbal. So the drone could be going crazy up there. You're not gonna know that because your first person display on the screen is gonna be rock solid because the gimbal's compensating for that. And up until now, you had no idea that your tiny little drone is up at 300 feet battling a wind that's buffeting it like this. And if, if it gets too strong and the motors can't control it, that's when you get a flyaway. So watching that attitude, and you see your drone attitude changing dramatically like this, or maybe it's fighting the wind like this and shaking, even though your display is rock solid, you know that drone's fighting a really strong wind up there, and maybe it's not a good time to be flying that high. So I love the fact that they show me the attitude of the drone in addition to all the other icons they give me for the health and welfare of the drone, but that attitude indicator is something you gotta keep an eye on, because again, if you're flying out in a day where there's bursting wind, you'll see pretty quickly that attitude indicator change and shift and jerk around like this and that's your drone being buffeted by the wind up there in the sky and that's something you wouldn't have known before because again the beauty of flying these kind of camera drones is they've got the stabilized gimbal on the front which compensates for all of that movement up in the air so from your perspective if all you're doing is looking at that FPV display on your screen you have no idea that this poor little guy is up there 200 feet in the air and fighting the wind trying to keep things stable and may not win that battle. And if it doesn't win that battle, woo, it's off someplace else. So if you're flying your drone, I think that information that that display gives you is extremely helpful. I know it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's extremely helpful. But more importantly, those total white lines on either side of the drone, to me, are the most important part of that display. And I'm watching those on a regular basis. The last thing that's on that display, which is kind of an interesting thing, I don't know why you'd need this, is the north indicator. That's gonna show you where true north is or magnetic north is. And that's kind of nice to know, but I don't know too many pilots that fly based on compass positions, but maybe you use that for some navigational aids or something like that. But it is kind of cool to see where north is. And honestly, when I'm flying, I'm situationally aware of where I'm standing, and I can pretty much, you know, any day point to the east, point to the west, and kind of know where I'm at. But it's nice to have that little display in there. Now, the last thing I'll say is that, in general, DJI is doing these updates on a regular basis. I think by adding that, navigational aid that added to display in there, they've really kind of expanded what the drone can show you. And I think it's a really good thing. Now, I know the opinion on this is split both directions. There's a lot of people that say, oh, I can't stand it, it's too complicated. There's other people that say, I love it, we're closer to a pilot by seeing this kind of information because that attitude display, normally on a plane, is one display that shows you the artificial horizon and there's others for you know altitude and things like that and direction and heading. This kind of bundles it all into one. So I'd recommend as, as a responsible pilot, sitting down, playing with it. And again, I always recommend doing this at ground level. So do it 30 feet off the ground, but fly it out a couple hundred feet, spin it around, send it over that way, walk away from your home point, and just get a feel for how it affects that display. Because when you've got your drone up, 300 feet in the air, 1500 feet away, that's not the time to figure this out. You wanna make sure that you completely understand what that display is showing you, because all of us may lose sight of a drone in the sky. And that's a panic moment to sort of know, you're sort of sure it's over there, but you're not sure where it is. And now by looking at that display, I can tell pretty quickly, am I facing my home point? Am I facing away from my home point? Am I, am I descending? You know, all the things that are critical about getting the drone back home safely are in there. Two other things you can look at, and this is recommendations I've had on other clips, is if you get in a situation where you've lost sight of your drone and you're not sure where it is, you spin it back so that the drone is facing the home point and then fly it a little bit. Fly it for a couple of seconds and watch the two indicators to see distance and height. Because if distance is increasing, it's flying away from you. Pretty obvious. If it's decreasing, it's flying back towards you. Eventually, you're going to get it back in your line of sight where you can recognize it. Another good trick is if you lose sight of it, start wiggling the joystick so you can see it move around in the sky. Because a lot of times it gets buried in the clouds or buried in the background and it's hard to see it. But if you move it around a little bit, it'll shake in the sky and your eyes will pick up on that. So in addition to the navigational aids and this attitude uh, indicator that I talked about, those are some tricks that I use if you've lost sight of a drone in the sky. And that's pretty much it for today. So hopefully that made sense. I didn't make it too complicated and I didn't go on too long about it. But I think DJI has done us a great service by bundling in this new 
attitude indicator into the software, and I would recommend using it every time you're out there flying. So if you've got any questions about anything I've covered today, as always, drop those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, I've got a ton more clips coming on a lot of new features. I've got some things coming on the 1.2.2 upgrade and a bunch of other drone reviews and high-tech stuff coming as well because, man, have we been busy the last couple of weeks. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. Oh, oh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I say this every time, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down there and join the Drone Valley family because, man, this is going to be one heck of a year. we got some really cool stuff coming, so you're definitely going to want to be a part of it. And that's pretty much it for today. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, happy flying. Thank you.